power over evil spirits shall be given to the elect. This video won't be long, but I will have a five minute video I will have for you to watch. It's about three women on a flight that people say felt like they were demonic. They were possessed. I will also leave the link to that video in the link to the article that I got the video from. But when you see the actions, you got to remember, in these last days, you're going to see all type of apparitions. When you ask yourself, what is an apparition? Look it up, A-P-P-A-R-I-T-I-O-N. And it's like what people call ghosts, right, or spirits, right, um, things like that. And the Lord's going to have it like that in these days. It's going to be just like how it was in Egypt. Right, the Lord also said he knows um, their, their delusions. But the fact of the matter is we don't have to worry about zombie-like people or people possessed with demons or spirits because they will fear us because of the double portion of Yahweh's spirit that, was, that is within us. So this is Matthew chapter 10, verse 1. When he had called unto him his 12 disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits. To cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of diseases. So unclean spirits, we will have power over. Also evil spirits. Listen, Luke 10 and 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents. It's a high level demon too. And scorpions who are very ferocious people as well. And over all the power of the enemy. All powers. Physical or principalities in dark places. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. That's why there's a scripture in the book of Numbers. I think the 15th chapter. The 15th chapter. One chapter where it says. There is no enchantment against Israel. Might be the 11th chapter. You can't use voodoo and stargazers. And zodiac signs and Nostradamus. You can't use none of that stuff on us. We are. Our heritage is prophets. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's just the strongest power here on earth other than Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. I speak as a man when I say that. Mark chapter 3, verse 10 through 12. For he had healed many, and so much that they pressed upon him for to touch him as many as had plagues. It comes to point, though. And unclean spirits, when they saw him, fell down before him and cried, saying, Thou art the Son of God. So even the unclean spirits, when they saw him, they fell down. But what Yahweh Shai said, and he straightly charged them that they should not make him known. Because it wasn't his time to destroy the evil, wicked spirits. Like the man that was bound, that no man could bound by the grave. The evil spirit said, Whence comest thou, o son of man, and thou come to torment us before the time? So they know there's a time all evil and clean spirits will be exonerated. Not, not exonerated, extinguished. Let me say that. Because spirits are. um. Flames of fire, right? You'll be extinguished. But the Wadi Habashim Ashai, we have the Rabbi Chakodash and not the plague of the mind because even King Solomon said it, Sarat 25 and 13. Give me any plague but the plague of the heart, the heart is your mind, and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman. Well, that's just self explanatory. But anyhow, with that being said, praise that fine fed. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear, just endure it. Ask for forgiveness, pray without ceasing, stay humble, remain diligent. Shalom and watch this video.